Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a plotting tutorial using Matplotlib and Python. Now in this tutorial, we'll be looking at counterfill plots. The last tutorial we saw about the counter plots and this will be a slight, I mean a slight modification of that wherein in the counter plots we, when, which we did last time, we actually marked the, we marked contours along constant, uh, constant lines, lines of constant magnitude. Here we are going to mark that at the same time we are going to fill them with a the color may, may, you know, is to make sure that uh, re, uh, regions having some value range are actually having the same color. Okay, now let's go get on with it. I just create some uh, create some simple values so that I can actually plot. Um, so I am just creating, um, creating some red data over here and Z is actually the data that I am going to plot with which is actually this product of the sine and cosines of the grid points grid point values and now this is the command that we are going to do first okay let me first uh, comment out these lines comment out these lines and uh, I'll comment out this line as well I comment out this line as well okay so what else yeah so there we go now let's start now First, what first to understand what counter fill plot is, it's fairly simple. The command is for, command is you just type plt or contour, and then afterwards you put an f in the f in the front, f in the last. F means fill. So by default, if I just put a contour over here, all I will get is just these lines over here, line, lines just like these. But if I just put an f at the end, okay. Now I'll now I'll the entire plot gets filled with some colors as we see over here. Now let's do a little bit of a tweaking to make sure that this is our, as per our convenience. Just like the contour option over here, we have the breaks option. You have the breaks option. So if you create a matter, if you create an array or array on the top or use an array and specify where you want the contours to be drawn, you specify, I mean, you can use that as a fourth, uh, fourth argument and then uh, you break the contours as per your choice. Here I'm breaking the contours between my, uh, I'm making 11 contours, I like to have 11 values between minus one and one in this breaks uh, breaks value. When I pass that, the contours, instead of picking at some uh, predefined number of predefined values or predefined uh, number, it will going to take these bre break arrays, break array, and then specify, I mean, and then it will uh, draw contours along those regions. Clearly you can see, Clearly you can see there are more contours than we had last time. Okay. And now next thing that you like to do is uh, do a little bit to change the color map. This color map by default is not that neat. So if you want to change the color map, the command is fairly simple. Just type C map and then you put C map and then you put a color map. There are like multiple color maps that are available in Python uh, and especially in matplotlib. So I'm using going to use the C map color map. This is actually a re uh, red, white, blue color map scheme so when i run this there we go now the color map is color map is fine it's as per our convenience okay so red values are having red values are those which have a positive magnitude and the blue values are those which have negative magnitudes the darker the color the more is the magnitude all right and now sometimes you like to have make sure that uh, the data i mean are in sync are in the same colors throw the hair as a single color that I can actually specify using this color option and when I say the colors to be equal to K I mean just a single color every entire plot will be made in a single color so this is not usually recommended because although this won't throw any error as you saw not this is not definitely not what the one we like to have so instead what you can do is you can create you can pass a, a list or a tuple of colors I mean a list or a tuple a list or a tuple having strings that are color point towards colors. So here I, sp I specify some colors like red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and the chocolate, beige, salmon, and azure colors from XKCD. And now if I run this, I have all my colors, so all, all my contour, uh, contours filled with the corresponding colors I mentioned over here. Now this is, uh, this color option over here is not pretty, I know. I, I'm, I perfectly agree it's not pretty uh, this is just to drive a point drive you drive home a point that uh, you can do a lot more lot more stuff with these colors that's the whole point message behind it so 
this is not for making it beautiful this is just for making driving a point that you can do a lot of stuff with it and whenever you have a color map or a multiple colors let's say you can actually enable the color bar option over here and this text decides where you want to break the color bar to uh, specify some values to it now if you run this there you go now i have a color bar color bar and i have an equal I mean color bar for this equivalent plot over here pretty neat okay and now instead of this multiple colors over here which i really don't like okay just for under, making this for just for uh, driving a point home okay and now if you put this to a st substandard color map like seismic now you see this is much more beautiful okay it's neat and it's ma uh, maintained properly and uh, a, f a few more tweaks there is this option called as extend just like what we saw in contour when you put extend equals both both are, I mean the both the top and the bottom bottom end of the color bar will have a triangle on top of it like you see triangle over here so this indi indicates that in this indicates colors for values beyond one and this this color indicates values for which the I mean this color indicates data for which the value is beyond uh, minus one like that okay and similarly you have this v min v max option which enables you to control the minimum minimum value to, that you want like to take into the plot and the maximum value that you like to take in the plot by by this you just have you can set them over here cool and now i'll, ta I'll talk to you all about the one thing that you like to make my plot make uh, that i always used to make my plot a little better now if you see this is my counter plot over here counter fill plot over here now the disadvantage you notice is that the contour lines over here they are not very stark as a consequence the plot might look a little dull so instead if I, if I just use my just play plain contour over here the contours are pretty so pretty neat because of the background because of the white background they appear really stark and they come out neat but um, it's not as catchy as a contour plot would be now you might ask me how can i make my plot a little better the one thing that i used to do is uh, superimpose contour and contour f together with the same with almost the same parameters so what i do is i use the contour option on the top okay and then immediately below it i use a contour map option at the map of the uh, option at the bottom i mean contour fill at the option bottom so what happens here is when I set the contours over here, the so plain contours over here, make sure that the colors are set to black. Thereby, all the contours are in black color. Whereas when I put the contour fill, I pass the exact same arguments. The only difference is that I just put a color map instead of a single color. All the arguments, all the other arguments being the same. So when I run this over here, the superimposition, I mean the superposition of the contour and the contour and the superposition of the contour lines and the contour fill will make my plot look much more uh, stark and uh, contra and sharp this is the thing that i actually do uh, for my plots to make them look look, look much more um, how do i say ravishingly ravishing okay that's one of the other things that you can actually do to make your plot a little better and uh, another option you can actually do is uh, enable uh, other option you can actually enable uh, do is enable this ma RC params uh, dictionary. In that RC params dictionary, set that set contour dot negative li underscore line still to be solid. Thereby, uh, your negative contours are will be in solid lines. So if I uncomment this, check this out. My negative contours are actually in dashed lines over here. If you want to avoid that, you just have to make sure that this uh, particular option over here is set to solid. You do this once for the entire program, that will take care of it. And then if you are like too nitty gritty, too picky, and you want to have a color bar, I mean, you want to have some color labels over here, I mean, contour labels over here, you can enable that by using C labels, but C label and passing uh, object, uh, I mean, object, I mean, object handle which is something you can clearly do but um, in this case it's okay in this case is perfectly okay but in sometimes they might be too um, how do I put it too close to each other too uh, inter in interfering so you just you, you can, I mean, you can uh, choose to do, do this or not it's uh, totally up to you 
Nevertheless, the point I'm trying to make here is you can make these plots as customizable as you can based on your convenience. The only thing that you might need to do is sit with your plot and then uh, do a little bit of trial and do a little bit of trial and error to make sure that you get get the plot as per your um, how do I put it as per your convenience. All right. Now uh, that's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time in another interesting video. Until then, take care.